of Duty for sure, literally without a doubt. I feel like SMGs are very much outclassed, even though I just did that. People saying that they also don't, they also kind of don't like that it's only 100 headshots. So the Jackal PDW SMG ran rapid in the beta of Black Ops 6, but they did end up nerfing it in there and making it unusable. But we have the full game for Black Ops 6. I want to max this weapon out and give it a go in today's video. And that's exactly what I did with this brand new class. That's absolutely insane. Overall, making it feel like the OG beta build of the Jackal PDW. So for the first time, we're going to throw on the regular suppressor. It gives you just off the radar the entire time. And like I said before, suppressors are just more satisfying to use. For the barrel, you want to put on the, the game twist barrel gives you maximum bullet velocity overall, allowing your bullets to hit a lot quicker. We have on the Ranger foregrip for the under barrel, gives you horizontal recoil and also gives you sprint movement speed. I put on the extended mag too, which gives you the 50 round drum mag. And we also toss on the no stock attachment for that hit movement speed, movement speed, and also strafing movement speed. This class is absolutely insane. Kills insane and crit like Jacko did in the beta. It's overall a lot of fun. Mobility is definitely is balanced between the 50 round and the no stock attachment. Overall, this is one of the most satisfying SMGs you can rock here in Black Ops 6. If you do enjoy it, over to drop a like and subscribe and enjoy the Jackal PDW here in Black Ops 6. All right, let's use this brand new Jackal class that we got here for Black Ops 6. This weapon right here was literally the, the best gun when it came to like the first weekend of the beta of Black Ops 6. And it, it was just like two shot of people. It was just doing whatever it, it truly wanted to do whenever it wanted to do it. Of course, that's not really ideal when it comes to a weapon because it was like, holy, it's, it's, this thing was so broken, bro. It, like I said, it was two shot of people. And then they, they, they let it rock for the first weekend. And then when the second weekend came around or either, either it was the second weekend or like the second day, second or third day, whenever they raised the level cap, they actually put it to where they nerfed this weapon. And then the Tainto came out and then the Tainto was just basically doing what the Jackal was doing. But the Jackal was like the first broken gun in all of Black Ops 6. So now that we have the full game here. I figured why not make a, you know, a brand new updated class for this weapon. Granted, mine isn't maxed all the way out. Even though I do have diamonds, it's still, still not maxed all the way out. Max it out enough to where you can have a very efficient class for this weapon. That's exactly what this build is here today. And even when they nerfed it in the beta, it still was insanely good. Like it wasn't doing what it was doing before, because obviously it was still fun to use. It was still a very good SMG. It, it just wasn't mapping people like across the map and just two shot everybody and just simply running rapid. Because literally every lobby you was in, this is like this was the only gun you saw. Like, all the sweats was just rocking this weapon. No one was using any other gun. They was just literally running around with a jackal, causing havoc. And I, ha I have the uh, ball edition for this game. Like, you get like that purple blueprint. Everybody was using it in the beta as well too. But I don't know. For some reason, I feel like that blueprint, or just the blueprints in general, make the weapon kind of weak. I don't know what it is about that blueprint, but I feel like the blueprint like limited this gun's damage for some odd reason. I don't know. So that, that's why I, that's why I don't have it on. Like, I would love to use it, but for some odd reason, like I said, it feels hella weak. I really can't explain like what it is. It's just that the gun just doesn't hit the same. And the blueprint completely changed the weapon. Like literally changed everything about it. Changed the iron sight. Changed a whole lot of stuff. And whatever form that is of this jackal, it, it just. My personal opinion wasn't it. It just wasn't good whatsoever. So that's why I'm that's why I do have the basic jackal form on. I guess you can call it basic. But either yesterday or the day before yesterday, I uploaded my diamond video for SMG. So just a little update on the progress. I have diamond ARs now. I have diamond ARs, I have diamond SMGs, I have diamond shotguns, and my LMGs is almost done. I'm like one gun off of the LMGs. And then when, when, when it comes to the launcher, I'm also also just one off the launcher launchers are basically almost done as well and uh, both of those all the all those will literally get done today yeah, that that LM lmgs will get done today the launchers will get done today as well all that will be very much completed and then after that i have just pistols snipers but obviously just the melee weapons well speaking of main weapons i didn't know you had to do the knife and the bat i thought the bat was just like a little i don't know i guess bonus that's true i thought, I thought the bat I thought the bat was like a bonus thing that came with the game i'll be honest but you have to do the bat and you have to do the knife and the bat is literally the worst thing in the world it's literally a two hit it's not even a one shot kill you have to hit you have to hit someone twice and it's like I, I don't know why they're doing that but i mean it's nothing new we had two hit main weapons before in call of duty so I just kind of didn't, I, I just didn't expect the bat to be that weapon, I'll be honest. I thought the bat would be like broken. Yeah, that's where I stand when it comes to the whole um, Dark Matter grind. I want to finish everything by the end of this week, which is 100% possible for sure. I can get all the camos. I know Brad got the camo. Someone else recently got the camo as well. I forgot who. Someone else got the camo as well too. I forgot the person's name, but people are definitely unlocking Dark Matter now. Obviously, I'm not racing nobody. I'm doing it on my own pace and my own timing, but definitely I'm in a rush to get it done for sure. 
to get this done. And this kid killed me so fast. Oh my God, bro. The TTK in this game is so fast. I don't know what it is with this game, bro, but you die so fast. Or, or at least you, it feels like you die fast. I don't know if it's just the way the bullets hit you, but the way it just like the flinches. I don't know what it is, but in this game, you get absolutely disintegrated and it's, it's, it's very, very annoying and definitely rage inducing. But apparently it's, this is like one of the slowest TTKs out of Cold Duty history, but yet it feels like you get absolutely just ripped. I don't know if the guns are just OD or what, but you just get absolutely just torched. And it, it, it just it just ruins the experience getting absolutely ripped like that and like i said it's probably just the, the way it feels when you die but if you die you get like that loud ass crackling sound and i know they tuned it in the beta like they they, they load down the sound and just like load down the whole crackling itself but i still kind of feel like it's od like it, it's something about it's just not right so that's like the best way i can put it when it comes to the whole TC, tck of this game it feels like every gun in this game is actually od but i simply know that's just not the case but you just get ripped like i was even watching um Aries's video he talked about how like this is, this is like a, a heavy dominant ar game i literally said the same thing the other day i 100 percent agree but like i was saying it is a very heavy dominant ar call of duty for sure literally without a doubt i feel like smgs are very much outclass even though i just did that uh, i feel like at medium ranges it, it they, they do tend to struggle but i feel like they should excel at medium ranges obviously give 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 the sub some range don't give it don't give it like you know the world's most craziest range but give it like a range to where it can simply can't compete i kind of feel like it i, I, I kind of feel like they simply can't compete at a certain range that sucks because like i said like I, I talked about it before but like i said i mainly am at a smg player i love smg smgs are like my main main category that i personally use so that they aren't the greatest kind of is like a letdown to a certain extent like they're good but like you gotta pick and choose your battles very very wisely you can't be out here just challenging anything and everybody because you definitely definitely will get punished for doing that without a doubt i'm gonna play my cards right here so i get this advance oh, another problem with this game i don't know if it's just me but like whenever i call my streaks and i have to like spam the button because for some odd reason it just won't call it in like i said before i don't know if that's just me like i don't know if that's just like my controller type shit or just like my game but i have to like spam the button because if i just press it once it just simply it simply just won't call the streak and i think like, i just don't know why i won't do it but it won't do it i just when i, I literally i swear to god like literally whenever i have a streak i'm spamming the the right trigger or right button literally just to spam it and call it in i swear i am every time i, I, I don't want it to not call it in you know i, I don't want i don't want to make that mistake and just mess around and not do it so i don't know if i spam it it's a guarantee that it's in i know if i don't spam it it's also it's like it's also a guarantee that it's not gonna be called in Oh my god. I wanted to tee up for that. Got me a little bro. Oh, I, I, I just I just simply wanted to tee up for that new. I'll be honest. <laughs> I was like, let me lock it in. Let me let me let me, let me just reel, reel it in and lock it in. But as you can see, like with, with certain gunfights right there, I didn't take certain fights because I knew like I was like, yo, I'm going to get out gunned. Maybe some 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 of the fights were probably like a little OD because like they were a bit far, I'll be completely honest with you. But usually when it comes to subs, you can you know shoot them pretty far, but this year they, they got rid of all of that. Like, I'll be completely honest with you. Like within the last like two or three years, you can rock SMGs with with no barrel. Like you know, the subs just had the range in it in its own. If I be honest, I don't think you could do that this year. I'll be honest. I feel like this year you like you kind of need a barrel. The, the, the damage drains on these on these SMGs just aren't the greatest anymore. I don't know. I, I don't know why, but also kind of get it. Like I said before, the SMGs are just so dominant at, at at the range over the last couple of years. I don't know. Just just from being used to that and then going to this where subs feel so weak at a certain point it's like it's kind of let down but it's like okay i i get it and they're back they're back quote unquote how they should be i mean i'm gonna twist it this you, you still can you still, you still can shoot that range as you clearly can see yeah, that was just a long shot like it, you, you clearly can still get it in that range but they just aren't the absolute best to do it all the time because if, if, if you go against the ar you're most likely gonna be dead I'll be honest with you because the ARs are insane. Once again, that's why this is such a it is a heavy AR dominant call of duty. The ARs are just so superior, bro. And rightfully so, they should be good at range, of course. Even at even at close ranges, like the ARs are still insane. Especially the XM4. Oh my god, at a certain range up close, 
XM4 is basically a sub damn near. That's just like how insane the TTK is on the weapon. But I kind of do feel like after like a week or so, I feel like they're gonna like, I, I, I feel like they're gonna buff the SMGs. I feel, like, I feel like they're gonna buff the SMGs and give them more better range. I could be completely wrong, but I kind of feel it in my soul that like they're gonna buff these SMGs. Like there's, there's kind of like no way that they're not gonna buff them. I feel, like, I feel, like, I feel like they're, they're at a huge disadvantage at a certain point, and like it's, 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 at a, it's like an uncommon point too. So I feel like at a certain point they will buff them. I'm here for it. I'll be honest, because I know, I know snipers have a lot of problems with them as well too. So whenever those, that sniper fix and all that comes out, I feel like that's when the subs will definitely get their, their buff too. And of course, that's just a, a prediction and a hope as well. That's assuming I know snipers are broken, like I said, but they have like a lot of glitches to them. But I mean, them things look perfectly fine to me. Like. The things the snipers are doing to me in this game, they look perfectly fine. So it's like for people to say that they're actually, you know, glitchy and have all these problems with them and stuff like that, they look perfectly they look perfectly fine to me. Every 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 time somebody's sniping against me, bro, they absolutely just wax my shit. I'm like, whenever it's time for me to use those snipers, I better be doing the same shit, no cap. But of course that's never how it works. That's just Call of Duty in its own. But I want you guys to comment down below how many gold guns you have in this game. I know the gold but not the gold, the gold, yeah, gold challenges is very easy to shoot. Like I said, it's 100 headshots. And I, know, I know a lot of people were hype about that, but I also seen people saying that they also don't, they also kind of don't like that it's only 100 headshots, or they just don't like the fact that it is for every gun. Which, like I said, it makes sense. I understand that it's just kind of repetitive at that point. But 100 headshots for every weapon in the game, it's actually like, that, that's actually wild. I don't know. I, I guess it kind of alleviates all the weird challenges that we could have possibly gotten, which is also just the best part. I'll take the headshots over, you know, all the weird challenges like mounting up or sliding or just doing a whole bunch of weird shit and stuff like that. But like the special cameras require you to do some some stuff, but it's nothing like too, too crazy to where it has you changing like your whole play style and doing something like that you personally normally would never do. Oh my God, what am I doing right now? I'm at 90 kills, so I'm gonna get this 100 piece. Yeah, I'm gonna get this 100 piece and I'm gonna call this nigga. I'm pretty sure your, your nuke doesn't give you kills this year. So. I have to get 100 kills flat. Then call it in. Alright, bet. Just call it in. We're going to call my nuke in, my friend. Because why not? This is the Jackal PDW. Absolutely broken. Insane. It's still insanely good after the nerf in the beta. Still in good after the beta. Like it's still one of the best SMGs you can rock in this game, without a doubt. Yes, sir.